Walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. Hey there, people of the grid. The day is done, and uh, I figured I would take Samantha for a little one wheel slash boosted board ride. We're taking a different way home today. We're going down to the river and we're gonna go do some splashing, I think. I think we gotta go this way, Sam. And we're kinda lost right now. Going in? Probably, yeah. My legs at least. How is it? Nice and cold. Nice and cold, you see. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> it's nice though once you get used to it, hey? Yeah, it feels so good. Oh man. Especially on like, how, it's like 28 degrees. Here in Canada, that's like, it's hot. <laughs> this is awesome, Sammy. This is great. <laughs> I was filming. It's like the Tom Sawyer life, hey Sammy? Yeah. How was your day at school today? Good. Nothing, nothing special today. Nothing special? You looking forward to going camping? Yeah, I can't wait. I know, me too. That's going to be so much fun. So today we had more, uh, more charge in the boards because we had a bunch of errands run. We were running late. Sammy was late at school, so Tammy dropped me off. So I showed up to pick her up with full charges on both boards. So we came down into the valley where the river is here. And we're just gonna hang out for a while, me and my girl. Now that was totally awesome. A Little bit of quality time, my girl. Now we're gonna try and find our way home. We're gonna go through the valley. I haven't gone this way before. So we kind of have to uh, figure it out, but I'm 60% sure there is a path that gets us over to that side, so here goes nothing. Yeah, we found it. This path goes under the bridge and gets us closer to home. It looks like we might have rain coming. All right, so we're down in the valley. This is gonna be Samantha's first uphill climb. I'll be climbing it in the one wheel. She'll be climbing it on the boosted board. I think we got enough juice to get up there, no problem. Good? Rode up your first big hill, hey? Wasn't that bad. No, not that bad at all. So I got home, Samantha and I got home. We climbed that big hill. Everything's good. We took a nice rest. And uh, now kind of uh, just before it starts pouring rain, I thought Melissa and I would come out for a ride. Yeah. Melissa has, uh, she's decided she wants a mechanical pencil. You know those little ones that you tick, 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 you click and the little skinny lead comes out? I love those pencils and apparently Melissa does too so after uh, we get back home we're gonna go to Staples and get one of them pencils right Lissa? Yeah, we can get everyone one. Can't be a nerd without one. Nope. nope. Oh hey people of the grid. <laughs> Melissa and I made it back home. We had a successful trip to Staples didn't we? 
Yes. Before we talk about that, I was uh, on the one wheel the other night with Ethan, and while we were riding around, he was uh, taking some video. He was making a video. I didn't realize what he was doing. So he put it all together and he shared it with us. It's hilarious. It's kind of dark, but it's hilarious. So I'm going to pop it in here. Hey guys, what is up, fellow skaters and skaters, other skaters? It's your boy Ethan here. I'm gonna help you with some tips for skating a little bit late at night. Okay, so tip number one always wear a helmet. We're trying to do safety first here, right? Okay, always wear a helmet. Number one rule, very important. Number two rule is always watch where you're going, okay? So never look behind you or anywhere else because if a car is coming, you wanna go forward rather than look at the car because then it might, you know, you might see it. Safety rule number three, always make sure to keep your mouth closed because if you're riding late at night, you could get bugs in your mouth. And that is a very dangerous situation where you may crash and probably die. So that's tip number five, I think. Uh, so now we're on tip number six, which is the final tip, uh, always ride. Hey guys, so it's your fellow skater here, and so hello skaters and other s skaters. Um, I just wanted to do a quick kind of recap video, because when I was doing rule number six on the video, I it blanked out. Now some people may say that's because my phone died, and that may be what the facts show, but it's actually because I didn't follow one of the safety rules, safety rule number six, which was what I was going to tell you, and I actually crashed and died. Now, unfortunately, me having the knowledge died, and so I can't give you the knowledge of what safety tip number six is, and so I'm just gonna end it off here and have a kind of, you know, uh, solemn silence for me since I'm dead now. So here's a, just a moment of silence real quick. And I'll also include a link to uh, Ethan's channel on YouTube. He doesn't have a lot of videos up there, but uh, I think he's probably going to start adding a few. He has Anyways, good ones, so. yeah, he's got quite a sense of humor. So uh, tell me about this mechanical pencil thing that okay, you got. So this is my mechanical pencil I got. Yeah, and um, it's green. I also got a red one. It's like a dream come true, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> She's been dying to get this pencil forever. So we took care of that, and now it is like 10 o'clock, so you got to be in bed. So why yeah. don't you go to bed? Say good night, people of the grid. Night, people of the grid. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, Amelia has a grad party. So once the grad party is done, we'll be heading out camping. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. It really means a lot to us. Click the bell button, then you get notified when we post videos. And uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Miker, out.